Hello, my name is Carlos Agreja, and it's a Java program. This is the bubble sort. So I have two arrays that I'm going to pass to a bubble sort algorithm that I wrote. Now you can see the time complexity of this array is O n squared, and the time complexity of this array is just O n. So this is quadratic, this one is linear. Now I'll show the difference and why. Uh, but the bubble sort is obviously O n squared. And it, the best can be a, is a linear, but it's considered a quadratic. So for this 9 to get over here to the end where it belongs, it will take one for loop and if it has to come back again then that's why we have the n squared because it's to do the same for loop again and again so it's quadratic um, and I'll show you why that happens so we take the n we compare it with the 2 and obviously we switch them put the 2 here and the 9 here so the 9 and a 5 we switch that the 9 and the 4, we switch that. Now right here, we have the 9, we have the 4, we have the 5. The 5 obviously has to switch with the 4, but we're going to keep going to the end, and then we're going to have to come back around and get it the, the next time around. And then we'll move the, uh, we'll switch the 4 with the 5, you know, we'll switch the 4 and the 5. The next time we're going to come back around. But eventually, but this first for loop, the 9 will end up over here. And that's one thing about the bubble sort. We already know that this is going to end up here. So we don't need to, we can actually uh, subtract that from the next for loop. We don't have to go all the way to the end. We can actually, and then once we've gone around again, we don't have to check. We, we already know this one's going to be all set we don't have to go that far we'll only go this far and then this far and then this far until f at some point it'll be sorted and then we can just finish and exit uh, a while loop so I'll show you what happens here with the linear we have a 4 and then we have 1, 2, 3 so Basically, it's already sorted except for this number. Then the four will go to the end, and it will only execute one for loop, therefore giving it a linear O n. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll go over the uh, bubble sort, the actual bubble sort algorithm. So, how it works: we'll pass in the array, and we have a temp to store a value so that we can sw swap two values uh, the cycles like I said if we made it to the end or one loop we we know that that last index is going to be all set we don't need to go that far again we can just go to the one before it so we're gonna keep track of that and that will be over here as you can see subtracted from the length and it will increment every time we go around this for loop sorted if it has to s uh, swap at least one time then it's not we don't know that it's sorted if it never has to come in this if statement then we know that it's already sorted there's no need to continue with the for loop and that's there uh, for adaptability so that we don't have to keep continuing so if it's already sorted we know we can get out of there uh, and save iterations so that's pretty much it um, So yep, I'll go over 
the actual uh, swap. So we're going to begin. We're going to check the, like I showed you, the first index and compare with the, the index after it. So as you can see here, is the this index is the index to the right greater? Well, less than if is is the the index to the right smaller, then it's got to go to the left. So that's how we check, and we climb up. So anything to the right, if the if it will check to the right, if it's smaller, then it swaps over to the left and moves this one over to that index. They swap indexes, and how that's done is we'll take the first index and just store that into some temp uh, allocation of memory so this temp variable we'll just store it there and then we can now overwrite this since we safely stored it in temp we can now overwrite this with the uh, index to the right of it and then we can then now this these both equal the same value so now we can take the temp that we stored that was 1a or a uh, the index this index and we can copy that value here so that's pretty much it just switches so you have um so we have let's see if I can so we have this um this not two all right we'll say the nine we have the nine we check if the nine is or if the two is smaller and it is so we take this nine store it here and then copy this two over here so now they both say two and then we copy this nine over here so now it's two and now this is nine so that's how how that works basically all this is doing and I think that's it um, yeah it's, it's pretty simple uh, you gotta be careful because it is two loops so it's like two four loops so but as you've seen one of them can actually if it runs through this for loop one time and then it can exit out of here right away but that's very rare case um, so you gotta yeah we usually don't know the values so you gotta count it as a um, quadratic time complexity so all n squared and uh, the print is very simple just pass the array and just for loop through every uh, iterate through every index and I'll put that value and I just have a space here and I'll go ahead and uh, run that and here it is <coughs> um, time complexity this was the on squared and uh, this one obviously just one for loop so brought the four right over here and yeah that's it that's how it outputs when I do the print method I just put spaces um, yeah so that's my bubble sort Thanks for watching.